How well corn grows depends on the quality of its seed. How well we appreciate the story behind biotech corn depends on our understanding of how it all started. The Philippines is the first and only country in Asia to grow biotech corn for food, feed, and processing. Using uh, traditional uh, technology, we have uh, huge losses from the Asiatic corn borer, among other pests. In terms of uh, supply and sufficiency, we, uh, we used to, act to import anywhere from 600,000 to a million metric tons of uh, yellow corn or yellow corn equivalent. And uh, the Asiatic uh, corn border uh, actually takes out as much as anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of the crop. This explains why we began testing BT corn here in our country. BT corn contains a gene from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis that allows the corn plant to resist an insect pest known as the Asiatic corn borer. It takes advantage of the toxicity or the specific toxicity of uh, Bacillus thuringiensis to a target organism like the Asiatic corn borer. Once the BT corn is ingested by the insect, then the insect dies from this toxin. That toxin, however, is not active uh, on other organisms, including human beings. BT corn was a landmark corn production technology in the Philippines. It is proven safe and provides an environment-friendly solution to the Asiatic corn borer problem by eradicating the farmer's excessive use of pesticides. In 1996, we began a greenhouse uh, trial of uh, BT corn here in our country. But this is being undertaken by the uh, DOST and CBP. Uh, of course, with the uh, implementation of the Institutional Biosafety Committee in that particular area. It was conducted uh, in Mindanao and in Luzon, wherein you can find uh, most of the uh, corn plantations like Isabela, Pangasinan, and uh, Cotabato. Uh, the results of the trials were quite satisfactory and they tell us that we have substantial uh, yield advantage and reduction of losses from the Asian corn border from this kind of a technology. After seven years of rigorous scientific study and evaluation, BT corn was finally approved for planting. Yung, yung native corn, ma'am, konti lang ang anihan mo. Hindi kagaya ng yellow corn na times two. Ang kinikita mo. We spray, tapos hindi mauuod. So that means hindi na ako mamamasyal sa field every day. But when it comes to BT corn kasi, you don't need to worry all about that. Parang my peace of mind. With their high yield and high quality harvest, the BT corn farmers experienced not only an improvement in their income, but also in the quality of their lives. May tractor na kami. May service na rin. May pagawa na po namin yung bahay namin. Sinanla noon, eh, naibabalik. Naibalik ko na. Saka natapos lang na pag ng mga anak namin. Ano. The Asiatic corn borer is no longer the big threat that it used to be. However, there is another corn production problem that the corn farming community is still facing. Ang problema namin doon yung kwento. Pagpatay ng damo, ganun. Sa weeding, doon ka malulugi sa ordinary. To address this concern, a second biotech crop, the herbicide-tolerant corn, was developed and later released for cultivation. The herbicide-tolerant corn contains genes that can make plant tolerate the herbicide glyphosate used in killing weeds. It allows you to safely protect the crop from, from weeds. Uh, weeds take out a substantial portion of the nutrition of the crop and therefore when you spray to eliminate the weeds 
we have to see to it that the corn crop is not affected or is tolerant uh, to the herbicide that you use. Mas marami ang ani ma'am kasi wala nang damo yung bukid. Kasi mas malaki ang bunga. Kunti na lang yung trabaho mo. Kasi sinusupervise mo na lang kung hindi ka na nagpapadamo eh. Aside from the herbicide-tolerant corn, a stacked trait biotech corn was also approved and released on the same year. A stacked trait biotech corn contains two or more genes for herbicide tolerance or insect resistance or for both traits. And uh, stacked traits essentially puts in not just one but two or three or more uh, deterrents uh, to the pest. And therefore, it is uh, infinitely much more effective than a single trait corn like BT corn. And therefore, we feel that uh, this would vastly improve the durability uh, of the technology applied to the crop. If I will be a farmer and I ha am encountering uh, problems both on uh, Asian corn borer and uh, on which I will choose stock trait rather than the single trait event. Maganda sa akin, sa ani, malinis, hindi ka ganong mahirapan magtanim sa bukid. Nakakatulong dahil nare-recover yung logi na dumadaan sa aming pagtatanim. The success of the 10-year commercialization of biotech corn was achieved due to its immense benefits to the farmers. We started... Uh, for 50 hectares only being planted to BT corn. But now, it has expanded to almost 700,000 hectares. Meaning to say that besides uh, increasing the profitability and uh, uh, productivity of the farmers, it also increased the job generation created by this uh, technology. Farmers want a steady harvest. They want to have a stable income from planting. Biotech corn made these possible for them. All thanks to the stakeholders whose cooperation made the adoption of biotech technology a success. It's very important to have a very strong regulatory system. Uh, a regulatory system that does not compromise in terms of science, in terms of objectivity, in terms of procedure in terms of timelines and predictability. It's very important that the credibility of the regulatory system uh, is intact. We never compromised on that. With new varieties of biotech corn, farmers are insured of better corn production conditions. Hindi ka na mapapagod, makaka hanap ka pa ng ibang trabaho. Gaya ng gulay. Hindi mo na inaestikaso yung mais, nagugulay ka na. E, yung gulay is, may bibigay niya yung allowance mo araw-araw. Oras na po kami sa pamilya. <laughs> may oras na rin sa pama, <laughs> paglalakwat siya. <laughs> From the seed planted by the success of biotech corn, more biotech corn varieties are now being developed. New biotech crops are being tested. Farmers are on their way to better lives, and a self-sufficient Philippines is now possible to achieve.